Have you got one of these stuck in your customer database somewhere? I know, it just keeps scrolling, right? Well, what if I could tell you that you could use that list, that one that just flew away, you could use it and implement it inside of your Meta Ads account, create a custom audience around it, and use it to create data for your ad account to obviously help with retargeting and maybe push new offers towards or create something called lookalike audiences around what you know are past customers. If this sounds interesting, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And who am I to say we know how to do this? Well, my name is Nathan. One of our companies that we run is a digital marketing agency or paid performance marketing agency. We run a whole bunch of international and local clients ad accounts on places like Facebook and Google. So then now that we've got credentials out of the way, I'd love to take you into the video. So let's hop into the computer. All right, we are inside my PC. <laughs> I forgot the word there for some reason. But nevertheless, let's jump straight in and create this customer list, customer audience for your business. So all you need to do is head over to your audiences tab inside of your business ad account. If you are there currently, like I am, all you need to do is click on create audience. And we're gonna go to custom audiences and look for this one here called customer list. All you need to do is just look for this one, find it, click it, and then just maybe read a bit of what is the customer list about. We're gonna go through a help document now as well from Facebook, just to make this much clearer for you so you can understand the bones behind uh, what makes a customer list audience powerful and what can you do, what can't you do. All right, so it is a customer list is whatever you have as an email list on your platform that you might be using, whether that's um, Shopify or whatever it might be. It is uh, information that now you'll be able to upload to Facebook. And as you can see here, they say there that the information is um, a list that gets hashed into anonymized code. So before it even reaches Meta, it is anonymous completely. So not even Meta knows exactly who you're uploading here. So helps for your business with staying in line with the poppy rules or GDPR or whatever it might be, wherever you're from. So once you click that, uh, you'll obviously just click next. If you're a business owner and you want to delegate this work and get it off of your plate or hand it to someone else who is somewhat of an expert in this field, lots of experience and I've got team members to help you do this. Hit us over at one of the links below. You'll find one that will go straight to our team members where one of our expert members will help you and guide you according to what your specific business needs are. No package, bullshit. whatever your custom need is, we then help you with that. Or if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself, there's another link there that you can go ahead and apply. Let's get back to the video. This is what you'll be greeted with next is how to prepare the list. All right now, this is a, a typical thing for Meta. Before you upload the list, they wanna make it sure that you have the columns that they're looking for. So you're gonna obviously create something in Excel. All right, typically it will be a CSV file, uh, which is a variation of an Excel file that you can download. Um, you can see here, they're looking for a text or a CSV file that you're gonna upload. If you have MailChimp as your mail sender, um, I really hope you're not an e-commerce business, but if you do have MailChimp as a sender, great stuff. You can just import it directly from MailChimp. If not, uh, and you have another mail system, download the template, in a, uh, download all your customers in a, that list as a CSV file, and then you're gonna obviously download Meta's file if you wanna use their template and make sure that your data is correctly connected or in line with how Meta is looking for it. Here you can see what they are explaining each various thing that they are looking at uh, taking into account when they create this um, Meta customer list. Um, sorry for my blabbling, but this is what they're gonna look for kind of information based. Uh, you're gonna be able to add most of these things anyhow. Not all mail systems collect this type of data, so not all of it will be there for you to use. However, most should be. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is once you've hashed out that thing and it looks good and it's in line with what Facebook is looking for, you're gonna enter the uh, customer list here. So you can download the CSV template and again, if you wish, um, in our instance, I'm just gonna upload this um, template based one that we have. We did for this instance, create one that is from an e-commerce background basically. So as you can see, it's now uploaded. Next question is asking us, is there a value attached to these clients? So if there is a value, you probably would have value columns if you're an e-commerce business or brand, uh, and then you can select yes, uh, if you wish to pull that through for this instance uh, under Facebook's collection. Um, we have an AOV tab and we have a total spend and the amount of orders per person. So I'm gonna go with total spend on this one, for instance, and then you can obviously rename your audience however you wish. 
once you click next you're going to then have to map the columns now mapping columns is really simple and easy all you got to do is match name with name email with email and so on as you can see it's already pre-populated some of the things um, username is obviously not what we're looking for so we're going to take that out because it's already capturing email under email we don't want to do that um, this postal code is now picking up as date of birth which is also incorrect we want to make sure that that goes to postal code now under action needed map means they complete action needed you still need to go and have a look at what information is available for you to do so these are names i don't know why it did not pull them through but sometimes it does glitch click first name now it's going to be mapped according to that we won't be able to do the rest of these things aov or the country we can do because that's there um aov we can't do as i just mentioned city we can do and we can do region which will probably be your state or province but look the rest of these things we're not going to be able to implement or map them for facebook so we've got a decent amount of information here that it's going to pull through and uh, let's import and create once it's done that it will then create this custom audience inside of your audiences tab as you can see it is now complete now we just have to look for our customer name our custom audience name and there it is as typical with facebook audiences when you create them at the very scratch uh, beginning you're obviously going to have this thing populating from there it's not going to have it ready for you to use immediately uh, it might take a few hours for this populating to go to a ready status so just be aware of that so yeah that is in a nutshell how to use your customer list and now put that into a custom audience for your facebook or ad account uh, and then you can obviously use that inside of your campaigns however you wish you want to retarget you want to create lookalikes around that however you would like to do that by all means be creative and uh, just don't spam people all right so i hope this video helped next thing i want to go through is just understanding a little bit of behind the help document of creating custom audience lists for a custom audience right so from your customer list creating that custom audience what are we going to find here that we need to know about so as quickly as just scrolling down not even a, a whole page yet we can already see that there are changes that are going to mess around with your you know customer list a little bit should you be in the eu section uh european regions are definitely going to have some issues with privacy so just make sure that you're in line with that and then obviously you revert review facebook's terms and conditions around the the legal uh, aspects of having people's data like this um obviously yeah gdpr so make sure you are compliant and then obviously targeting for these options it are limited for audiences that include people that are under the age of 18 for most countries uh, under 20 for thailand under 21 for indonesia should you have clients there that's very helpful i honestly thought running through this help doc that there might be a little bit more said around what you can and cannot do however there isn't really much being said here so um just things like before you begin uh, if your account is new and you've recently linked to an existing account it may take a few weeks for it to be able to accept or share a customer list as a custom audience um, that's just something that you need to know and if you have a new account that is part of the 10-year business portfolio you need to make sure that it goes through the business verification process all right uh, this tells you exactly how to create it should you wish but you've just watched this video so you should know how to here's another note at the end uh, where they say that before you upload this uh, list for the matching process the information in your customer list is hatched so it's unidentifiable from an individual level which is exactly what you want you want to protect your clients data so um, it does help you create this targeting sort of custom audience that you can develop but it obviously is completely anonymous as they did say um, you can obviously go and read up about hashing if you wish regarding on how they do it but uh, as you see here they say that hashing is a type of cryptographic security method which turns your identifiers into randomized code and cannot be reversed so it is completely anonymous they do say here that depending on the size it could take a few minutes to complete but i just want to also take a side note here and mention that out of what i've heard from past guys and talking to a whole bunch of other agency owners is that your list tends to have about 50 percent only go through as a hash of cryptographic so don't quote me on that but uh, if you've got a list of a thousand, only 500 of that thousand is going to become information that is usable. Don't know why it just is, but uh, I just thought that's a useful piece of information just to chuck out there. Should you know uh, what you're doing? So yeah, we've walked through the help doc and uh, shown you how to do that. So I hope this helped. Well, there you have it. Without making this video too 
stretched out for no reason at all. It is very simple to create a customer list, customer audience that you can use and implement inside of your ad account on Facebook. I really hope this video brought you some value and that you can implement this exact strategy for your business should you not have done it already. I really hope you have if you've got a big list. But um, if you haven't, then there's something wrong with the agency who's been helping you <laughs> or the internal marketing dude. But anyway, uh, or do dead, should I say as well. But uh, yeah, I really hope this helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. It always helps out to know that our audiences are actually enjoying the content. And if you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. If you want to message us, message us. If you feel like the, the links in the description below are suitable for your situation, you want to consult with me or get in touch with one of our team members, click the links below and we'll definitely help you out. So there we go. Have a great day. Go build that custom audience list and get advertising.